As the occupants of Winterfell prepare for the army of the dead to march on them, Melisandre approaches from the darkness. She meets Jorah and the Dothraki, and tells them to raise their weapons. Melisandre places a hand over the blade of the nearest bloodrider, Corno, and chants in Valyrian. The swords of every Dothraki burst into flame, giving them hope as they charge toward the army of the dead. Melisandre then enters Winterfell. Seeing Sir Davos clearly aggravated by her presence, she assures him that there is no need to kill her himself, as she will be dead by morning. She also shares a look with Arya before the battle begins, fulfilling the promise made to her years earlier. As the battle turns against the living and they retreat into Winterfell, they attempt to light a spike trench to prevent the dead from crossing. However, the cold and wind are so intense that the fire from their arrows is quickly extinguished. The unsullied escort Melisandre to the trench where she quickly uses the same chant to set it ablaze, initially destroying all the whites that attempt to cross. The effort is much more intense as it takes Melisandre significantly longer to ignite the trench. Sometime later, when Arya, the Hound, and Beric Dondarrion barricade themselves inside the Great Hall of Winterfell, Beric dies of injuries the dead inflicted on him. Melisandre appears and explains to Arya that the Lord of Light had brought him back for a purpose, and that purpose is now fulfilled. Arya recalls the last time they met, where Melisandre prophesied that Arya would shut many eyes forever, brown eyes, green eyes, and, as Melisandre now reminds her, blue eyes. As the dead attempt to break into the room, Melisandre asks Arya, what do we say to the god of death? Inspired, Arya replies, not today, before running off. Melisandre's presence inspires Arya to slay the Night King, destroying all the White Walkers and laying the dead to rest. With her destiny fulfilled, she strides out of the gates of Winterfell and discards her cloak and a shy necklace. Her true form revealed, Melisandre ages rapidly, the power of Arlor no longer maintaining her youth. Walking placidly into the frigid air, she is watched by Davos as she collapses into dust before the sun rises, fulfilling her promise to him that she will die before dawn. Another of Melisandre's prophecies ultimately comes true when Varys betrays Daenerys and is subsequently executed, fulfilling Melisandre's prediction that Varys would be an Essosi who would die in Westeros, as was she.